Yes, lads, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now, today we are going to be reacting to the EFL League 2 home shirts. All right, now some of them haven't been brought out just yet. I believe three or four haven't been brought out. So we're going to dive straight into this. Now, if you do like the video and if you want to see more kind of football stuff, we are going to be pushing it a lot more. But subscribe for YouTube and give the video a thumbs up. Now, the first one is the AFC Wimbledon one. Now, I actually like the design on this. I like the wavy lines going through it. And I do all round like umbro kits. I do like the yellow trims around the sleeve as well. I do, I do think it is a really nice kit. It says here that it was inspired by the 1980s to 1990s Wimbledon kit. And I actually really like it. I think it is one of the best. Now, moving on to... Accrington Stanley. Accrington Stanley. Who are they? Exactly. Now this one is not for me. I don't know whether it's just the red and the white that I don't really like or the design behind it. I don't know what it means. I don't know. I don't know the meaning. Maybe drop the meaning in the comments below, but I'm not too sure. But this kit it doesn't really do a lot for me. It's 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 a little bit basic. The the like transition from the, the darker red to the red is is all right, I guess. Just not my fancy for this kit. Barrow's up next. Strange looking Barrow kit, in my opinion. I'm not a massive fan of it, you know. Not a massive fan of it. I don't know really what's going on in the design. It's not up there with one of my favorites, I have to say. It's not. The The other the other shirts that Barrow have brought out are, are nicer, but the... Um, the Barrow one is not for me. Now, this Bradford one, this Bradford one is up there for me. Now, I love a central badge. If only the thing that would only do it for me is if the sponsor, no, not the sponsor, the kit maker and the badge were the other way around. That would be it. I think it's, it's such a nice kit. I have liked some Bradford kits before in the past, and this one is up there i do really like it but if it was just the other way around i think it would be so much better and i think it would be the best kit in the league in my opinion it's just clean it is it is just a really nice kit and i think it is up there with with like i said one of the best now moving to bromley bromley getting in the in league two shall i say is an unbelievable achievement but their kit it remind it is it is like last seasons and it's it is pretty basic but then i do like the trims around the the neck and the sleeves bromley's is basic you know what you're getting with bromley it's just a basic white shirt with um a little bit of black on it which which is really nice now carlisle this kit i think is my number one this season this is an unbelievable shirt the blue the red the white is just I don't, I don't know what to say. Honestly, I've seen so many pictures and I think it's one of the nicest shirts I've seen. Maybe the only thing that I would say is the white in the middle just needs to be shrunken in a little bit more. So there's more of the blue and the red around the outside. But apart from that, I think it's an unbelievable shirt. I think Carlisle have got a winner I believe next up is Chesterfield. It's just a basic Chesterfield kit. Now, that's not saying just because I'm rivals to Chesterfield means that I don't I don't like their kit or I don't like the blue. I do think the badge going diagonal across the kit is kind of cool. But for me, it's 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 a very basic shirt in my opinion. Not for me, that one. As we move on down to Crew Alexandra. Now, I actually really like this kit. I think it's I think it's a sick design. It's one of them, now it's going to sound really cringe, that you would kind of make... Do you know when you were younger and you would make like kit designs with your friends? This is kind of the design that would be on that list of where you can where you can kind of design your kits and choose what colors you want. And I actually really like it. I think it does look cool. I think the badge looks a lot cleaner like that. I know a lot of people might not like going to that style of badge compared to the older one. I think I think it's a really nice kit and I think it's up there with one of the best from 
the League Two boys. Doncaster that Billy Sharp will be wearing. In my opinion, I don't see a difference with this year's to last year's. Is there even a difference? There might be, but for me, I really can't see one. It's basic, basic. You might, you guys might hate me saying that, but there really isn't much that I can really go off here with with that style of shirt. Basic white, basic white and red lines. Donny badge. Happy days. I'm not even going to give it any praise. To be fair, I think it's one of the worst. And Jills are up next. Now this Gillingham one, I really like. I also like that it doesn't have too much of a collar. If that makes sense, I like it. it's got the V. The V shape there. I like that it's got the V. I like the the white that goes down the sleeves and also around the neck. Um, I think it's a really nice shirt. And then the blue and the the kind of lighter blue stripes going down. I think it's I think it's a really nice kit. And fair play, Jill's fans, you've got a you've got a decent kit for this year, one hundred percent. So next up, we've got Grimsby. And this is their shirt for this season. Now, I actually really like this shirt. I like the black stripes with the red outline going all the way down. The badges, I've got a little bit of OCD with badges and they must fit in the lines that they were put on. I don't know whether anyone else has that problem. But for me, it's a really bad problem. Oh, it just looks a bit off-centered in that photo. I don't know what. I like the kit. I do like the kit, but maybe it's just my OCD. I think I think it could it could be given a good rating. Maybe at the end of the video, I'll I'll rank them one to twenty-four. Harrogate one's decent, you know. I actually really like it. With the the only thing that I don't like is this yellow bit just around here. That is the only thing that I'm not a fan of with the I like I like the gray and the gray on the black on the lines the sponsor goes in cleanly new balance have done well with this kit the Harrogate badge it's got quite a big gap to to go in for but but yeah I think I think it's a nice kit maybe if you got rid of, rid of this yellow bit maybe that is the only thing that I would improve but apart from that I actually really like that kit and I think they've done very well there. Now, Franchise FC is up next with MK Dons. Now, and I know they've gone with a classic design on this one, but for me, it's not all that. I think it's just very basic. Now, as a Stags fan, we've got cast all this year and I think they've done they've done an unreal job on the away shirt. The, the home one I do like, but it's not... It's not the the best one that that we've had. I think I liked last season's a little bit more than this season's. The MK Dons one just seems very very basic. I just I just can't get behind. They've signed some unreal players, but the kit is the kit is not not up there for me. I'm afraid. Moving on to Morecambe. I'm not fully convinced just yet. I'd have to see it with like shorts and socks and see what it's like. Off the shirt design, the sponsor, the fan cave. Fair play. Terrace kits. Now you don't I don't I don't really see a lot of terrace kits getting made. The collar's quite sick. I do like that, but the rest of it, nah. Nah. Not for me, I'm afraid. Not for me. Newport County. So Newport County shirt. Um I, I don't mind it, actually. I don't mind it. Going through the pictures where no one was wearing it to where people are wearing it, I think it's quite cool. There's actually a design on it that you can't really see in that first photo that I looked at, but in one of these back ones, it is actually a really nice shirt. I would say that's one of the best this year. I would. Credit where credit's due. I think they've got a really nice kit on their hands this year. 100%. Fair play, Newport. Next up, right. Now, this one, people are saying this is the best kit that's been made this year. It pains me to say this. It is up there. It is up there with, with one of the best, 100%. Notts County have absolutely knocked this out of the park this year. Middle badge, the correct order from Bradford as well. So Bradford have done it the opposite way around. Notts County have done it the correct way, in my opinion. And yeah. I really, really like the shirt. Hate the badge. 
hate the club. That's how we're going to do it. I think I think it's an unbelievable shirt. I think they've they've done really well and like I said I think it's one of the best that they've brought out this year. Or oh, one of the best in the league this year. I think they've got a really nice kit on their hands and hopefully they can actually perform this season with it on and not pretend like they're winning the league. Right, Port Vale's up next. Port Vale's kit this year. I actually really like it. I'm not going to lie. I think I think the um, bits on the sleeve, the trims on the sleeve and the collar, I think is a really nice design with not just going with one basic color, just actually putting a pattern on it. They've also done the correct order with the badge, the sponsor and the kit provider, which, yeah, is very nice to see. Fair play, Paul Vale. I think you've done unreal. I think you've done unreal with that shirt. I think that is up there with one. Of, that could possibly be in the top top three. So moving on to Swindon. It's just a basic, basic Swindon kit. And I have no, no more words to say. Like the design of the lines, okay, is fairly cool. I don't I don't think it's that that good. To be fair, it just reminds me of a retro kit that's if they wanted to go off that, then fair play, they've absolutely smashed it out of the park. But I don't think they have. Up next, Tranmere. This is pushing for number one, in my opinion. This really is. I love the retroness about it. I love the design on it, even through the white shirt. I think it's a clean, clean collar with the trims around the sleeve. It obviously, they've obviously gone back to the retro times and kind of thought, how can we bring this back to life? And they, that this is pushing one or two spots. This is, this is close to being my favorite kit this year or just missing out by one. But I think it's a really nice shirt. Last up, we have Warsaw. This shirt is in my top five. I think this is an unbelievable shirt. I don't think it's at the top. I would have preferred black shorts, truthfully. With the kits, I would have preferred black shorts, but they've gone with white shorts. But I I think this is an outstanding kit. I think it's, it's the same with the Tramir one. They've brought back kind of like a retro vibe which Macron have done an unbelievable job with this, with the collar, to the trims, to even the lines with the white on the outside and the badge. Warsaw's up there for me. So fair play, fair play, Warsaw. All right then, so number 24 to 21, your kits haven't been released yet. So that's just order of Salford, Fleetwood, Colchester and Cheltenham. In the 20th for the ones that have been released, I've gone... Doncaster, Swindon in 19th, 18th for Accrington, 17th for Barrow, 16th for Bromley, 15th for MK Dons, 14th for Morecambe, Chesterfield in at 13th, AFC Wimbledon at 12th, Grimsby at 11th, Gillingham at 10th, Crewe at 9th, Harrogate at 8th, Newport at 7th, Port Vale at 6th, Warsaw at 5th, taking that 5th spot, Bradford at 4th, Third is Carlisle, Notts County. For me personally, I think the Tranmere kit is just above the Notts County shirt. So that is my kit review for the 24-25 League 2 home shirts. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, give the video a like, and I'll catch you in a bit. Peace.